Hello guys, uh, this is Fetty Gamajid uh, Olale Khan and uh, basically I just want to address this SSL certificate so that if you have such error, you would be able to get it done. Actually, when I did mine, because I also had the error and immediately what SSL certificate gives you is this uh, secured uh, socket layer and when you have that secure socket layer you can really go online users can actually put in their data their uh, what's it called payment details and other details that are very very important in fact Google will soon stop uh, any sites that has no SSL certificate and what you will see is that it's going to show you that this site is not secure you can see and this means that there is no SSL certificate on this uh, URL on this uh, IP address okay and what is going to happen let me just reduce my vid, uh, screen so that I can show you what we are referring to SSL this is when you go to your Webuzo dashboard account I think I've explain all this you log into your dashboard at the back end uh you get to this ssl certificate and you have to use this concept let's encrypt let's encrypt this is what you need to use and if you click on let's encrypt you would need to select the domain you want to encrypt and you'll be having issues with uh the log not going the certificates not ready and everything and if you have that for instance let me say this domain which is when i was doing the tutorial this, this is what i actually use subsequently I, I do not have a domain on this so you can is not uh but what we are looking at is at this you will see there is no configured domain there is nothing on it and it will be having errors uh i've already done some domain uh, it's going to be having this error but this error here, the way out to this error is what I want to show you. I actually sent a message to Webuzo, okay, and they explained that there is this error, and the error is as a result of the upgrade that they have done on that let's encrypt solution. But this upgrade, you need to just upgrade your own. If you are not having it if you have you just you need to install this new certificate so and that was how I have um, that is the reason why I'm showing you this video in order to show you how you get to this location and install this certificates you can do it it's simple it's complex but it's simple so there are two ways to get it done so that you use your liners so, which is your putting if you watch the previous video we talked about putting or you use your filezilla these are the two ways to get to that end the easiest the two are very very easy but the easiest to a layman okay is filezilla you can act if you are good with your liners and you know your commands you can make use of putting you'll get to that same location and you will do what you really need to do. What do we want to achieve? We want to we want to get, there is a new file that was sent to us and we just need to update that file. We are going to update the file into, the file is acme.sh. That is a file. That is a file name. Okay, and this is a file format. So we want to look for this location user local webuzo includes cl uh, cli and we now look for that file acmail.sh and we now update the file webuzo will send to us there is a link they actually sent to me and they asked me to actually use that and the second way is of of course using poti and you have to run your command locating that look uh, that file you run your command you just change the directory when you go from one directory to another you will get to this 
and you would delete the one that is there you upgrade with a new one that is just a simple strat uh, strategy so but for this tutorial i'm going to make use of Fizilla, uh, Fizilla because it is easy so the first thing you have to do there are two ways to eat i'm going to put a link to inside my own description on my own uh, youtube channel but i beg of you probably the best way is that send a mail to webuzu so that they will get you the file but i'm going to put the file they sent to me i'm going to put it on my own account on my own description you can make use of that if you are okay with that you can just download the file it's just a file it's not much you just download it and you upload into that location and that is just it and your domain let's encrypt will really work without any problem so i have actually downloaded the file so and i'm going to come to my where filezilla filezilla is uh, a manager for ftp that is file transfer protocol so you can use your filezilla to access your server so on the on this end that is your local uh, local site that is the laptop and on this end that is a remote site which is the online the server so the first thing is just to come to the site manager and you open you just need to open you can open a new site because i've done it for several sites so you can open a new site and if you open a new site now this is a new site make sure you select this shft uh, sh file transfer protocol that is the one you will select and you put in your login details your login details let me close let me remove this okay so you are going to put in your login details the host name the normal username and the password the password i would advise you change your password if you enter into your server it's good you change your password It's the first thing you should even do because of security wise so you put in your password here so the next thing is just to press connect and if you connect it's going to access the server once it, it access server you are going to see your server here and this is my server connected so what i want to do now is to access the directory you can see the list of directory that we need to access and the file that we are looking for here so on the filezilla i want to access this directory what i did was double I clicked on that that double clicked on that uh, this local root and I was come down I'm looking for user the first let look at the instruction here the first is from your local your your roots you are looking for user and here is user you click on user it's going to retrieve the user directory now it has retrieved the user directory and you are looking for local and uh, you just need to scroll down pick local now you are accessing another directory the first directory is your main root now we are now going to user now we are now in local you can see directory listing of local and we are looking for webuzo under local we are looking for webuzo click on webuzo okay now if you look at this f f uh, the the line of action now we have user local webuzo now we have user local webuzo i beg of you don't go to any file outside or any folder outside or don't delete anything outside this instruction so that you're not going to be you'll not be having a problem with your server now when we finish we've gotten to user local webuzo now we are looking for includes 
we are looking for includes see includes here so you click on includes now it's going to load up includes the the directory inside we have user local webuzo includes then the next one we are looking for c uh, l i so we have c l i we we'll click on c l i and we are looking for this file this is a file we want to upgrade this file here acme.sh see that is the file that we are looking for this is a file here now what we need to do is just the file that we download that is sent to us from webuzo is what we will first of all look for uh, where is my owner okay let me just look for it uh, that is acme I don't even know where I put it acme okay under downloads let me open this file okay under download okay okay this is a file wow yes you just need to take this file okay and you bring it you drag it to this place if you drag this to this place it's going to start connecting and is going to update and say okay this file this file is existing and you know do you want to overwrite it of course it's the same name and the same uh, extension but what you just need to look at is this is the same byte that one that you are going to that you you will see different bytes so you can just say okay overwrite okay do this once you say overwrite it's going to upload that file you can see the file will be uploaded and once the file is uploaded it's now you now have it successful you can see so immediately you do this okay the job is done you can just close this one out you have nothing else to do yet immediately you do all this uh, you just come to your let's encrypt and uh, you refresh you refresh and once you refresh uh you come to your internet to so you come sorry <laughs> so you come to your okay good good now you refresh you now pick the domain that you want to encrypt and please for the sake of god you just once you pick the domain because this had been encrypted i've done this i've done this for this so you see that the version is point the three so once you pick the domain that you want to encrypt you now pick install please if you notice my control panel is still not secure the reason is that i did not click this i did not check this button and it is advised that except if you really want you have nothing to do with your control panel you don't need to check that you just need to do this once so that it's not going to spoil any other thing but for now i advise that don't even disturb yourself with the control panel you only want to disturb yourself with the websites so if you now go online and you check some of my websites messengerpanda.com which is one of the email solution that is coming up i've not done this i'm just bringing it up the solution would soon be up in the next few months i'm working on a solution for this you'll see that your site is secured i just put this on just to put the website really on and there are so many other things that will be coming up online with messengerpanda.com and you see that the site is secure so it's as simple as that if you have found any value for this uh, tutorial this guide give it a thumbs give it a thumbs up and share if you are new to this uh, channel subscribe if this tutorial is like confusing check some of the previous tutorial and if you feel you cannot get it or you are not getting it or it's like confusing 
you can chat me up. My, dis my details will be in the description. You can chat me up. I can help you get this done. Or you can just chat with Buzu. They have the problem. They have the solution. They have the technical know-how. They can get it done for you. And actually, they actually requested that I should send my details that they would get it done for me. But I just like, okay, if I can do it, and let me do it. And it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. So thank you till next week when I'll be uploading. I would upload, I would put in the file. I will put in the file link inside my description. The Webuzo file link. I'll put it inside my description. The uh, FileZilla link will also be there so that you can actually get all your tools together. Okay. All the best. Bye.